Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 653. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why age 40 is a huge wake-up call for retirement. Recently, I was talking to someone I just met, and she was telling me her concerns about it getting late for her retirement. She was in her mid-40s, and she was really starting to panic that she hadn't really saved enough yet for retirement. And while I agreed with her she hadn't really saved enough, I also knew that because she was in her mid-40s, she still had a pretty healthy amount of time to save for retirement. I mean, they're telling people now at age 45 that you have until age 70 to work until you retire. They've raised the retirement age from age 65. So that seems to be the government's solution to retirement is having you work longer. And while that is one option, that's not necessarily the right option for everyone, especially for people who are planning sooner. While she still does have 25 to 30 years to compound, and that's great the time is on her side, this is really the time to get after it because this is where the paths kind of diverge. It's right in your 40s because, as you know, I've talked about the wealth building formula, MCT. That is MCT, money, compounding, and time. Those are the three factors that are going to determine how much you have at retirement, how much money you put away, what the rate is you can compound at, and how much time you have to compound. Those are really the only three factors that are going to affect how much you have at retirement and whether retirement for you is something pleasant and comfortable or if it's something you're going to have to scrape and scrounge and try and figure out where your next dollar is coming from. Because there's only three choices with money compounding in time, let's look at each one of those. With money, of course, you can save more money. You can put aside more money. And the older you are, the more money you should be putting aside. I talked about that in my Wealth Heiress book where people who did get a late start but who started making catch-up contributions to their IRA were able to put more money aside and catch up because they were also investing well and compounding at a high rate, which really helped them. The C is for compounding. So if you're a good investor and you don't have your money sitting in a savings account earning less than 1% interest, if you have gotten invested in the stock market, if you are investing in your 401k, if you are using the S&P 500 and using asset allocation with mid caps, medium companies, small caps, small companies, international emerging markets, perhaps real estate and some of your favorite sectors, that kind of a portfolio is going to get you to higher compounding rates potentially. And then the third factor is time. And certainly, the earlier you start saving for retirement, the less stressful it's going to be on you and the less money you're going to have to put aside. Let's look at an example because I often use the $5,000 a year example at 10% interest, a good average stock market return over the long term, and a 40-year compounding rate. For someone who can compound $5,000 a year for 40 years at 10%, you'll end up with $2.6 million. And that's right from my Wealth Heiress book, page 48. Now, the reason that that example is so powerful in this particular case is mainly because of the time factor. That is, we're using 40 years as a compounding factor. Let's change that a bit. 
let's take $5,000 contributed to an IRA for 30 years at the same 10% rate. So assuming that you're still investing well, you're still getting long-term stock market returns, but you started 10 years later and you have 30 years to invest. Well, $5,000 invested for 30 years at 10% would equal $991,000. So the same amount of money, but starting 10 years later, earning the same return is going to get you under $1 million instead of the $2.6 million. So do you see how the time factor in that example really impacted how much you have at retirement? Let's look at it this way. Let's say you doubled your contribution because you started 10 years later, so you're putting in more money, you're doubling your contribution from $5,000 a year to $10,000 a year for 30 years and able to earn the same 10%. Well, it wouldn't grow to 2.6 million even if you doubled your contributions because your time factor is still 10 years shorter. So instead of 2.6 2.6 million, like the first example, if you've doubled your contributions from five to 10,000 a year, compound it for 30 years at 10%, it's going to equal $1.9 million. Now remember, you've paid in $150,000 more, that's $5,000 a year extra times 30 years, that's $150,000 extra you've paid in or invested, and you still have $700,000 less than if you started 10 years earlier. So time is one of the most valuable factors of the three factors, money, compounding, and time, in the wealth building formula. And that's why it's so important for you to get started the earliest that you possibly can. And if you're getting started late, to make this an absolute priority that you get after and that you not only start right away, but also maximize your compounding and what your contributions are that you're making. Because again, the only three things that are going to affect your retirement are how much money you put away, what rate you're compounding at, and how much time you have. And if you're short on time, you've got to make up for it by either putting in much more money or compounding much better or both. So right as you get to age 40, you're starting to get to this crucial time period where it makes so much of a difference to you whether you get serious about your retirement or not. It's easy to put it off and say, oh, next year, next year, oh, one of these days, I know I should do it, I'll get around to it. And meanwhile, your money is sitting in a savings account earning less than 1% interest, so you don't even have the C factor or the compounding factor of the MCT formula working for you. You can really shoot yourself on the foot by not understanding that yes, time is important and getting started early is important, but so is your ability to invest well and to invest smartly, wisely, and get your money really working for you. That may save you from having to put in massive more amounts of money if you have enough time and can compound well for long enough. Lots of people over 50 are very concerned about their retirement. They realize they are getting started very late, but the good news is it's never too late. Throughout my book, I've talked about women who started late and still ended up with a very comfortable retirement, with women who invested well and ended up very wealthy in their retirement. Lots of things are possible for you, but not if you don't get started, not if you don't take action. If you just sit there and get depressed and say, I should do something. Yeah, I know. I need to do something. I need to get started. Yeah, I know. My bad. That's not going to help you. There's times when you can delegate things to your partner or spouse and take a less active role, but This is one of those times where it's important for you to start taking a more active role. The most empowering thing you can do is to get educated. That's why I created a place for you to get education with what you need to know to get your retirement moving in the right direction, where to invest, how to reach those stock market compounding returns over the long term. 
And it doesn't matter to me how much or little money you have, how much or little experience you have. You need to know what's going on, not only for now, but also for the future, because the future is going to be different than the past. We're going to have unique challenges that we haven't had in the past, and it can be overwhelming to try to figure it all out on your own. So if you're ready to take control of your money and gain financial confidence, fill out the short questionnaire in the show notes and let's talk and see if the VIP experience is the next step for you. Don't forget, we still have the holiday sizzle contest going on where if you leave a podcast review or a book review, you have 20 opportunities to win three different prizes. My Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio set valued at $197, my Wealth Heiress book, personalized by me. It was voted one of the all-time best wealth books by Book Authority. Or you could win a wealth mentoring session with me. All you need to do is leave a podcast review on iTunes. Or if you have an Android, leave it on stitcher.com, S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. Your name will be entered into the drawing one time. And if you've read the Wealth Heiress book and you leave a review on Amazon, your name will go on the drawing two times and winners will be announced on the first podcast of the new year. And this is the perfect time of year for you to give the Wealth Heiress book to friends, family members, and share the wealth with them. Last holiday season, Amazon sold out of Wealth Heiress books. So you'll want to get yours as soon as possible to make sure you have it for the holidays. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.